We start the hour in Mali, where the country is anxiously waiting the results of Sunday's runoff election. Incumbent President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita is already claiming victory, but his rival Sumaile Sise is crying foul, citing voting irregularities. CGTN's Penina Karibe has the latest from Bamako. Vote counting was still underway as of Tuesday. Both sides, though, reckon they already know the result. According to the results we have seen in our campaign management system, all indications are that our candidate Keita has been re-elected with a large margin. He is in the lead in all the regions and also in the diaspora. Based on our compilation, excluding the areas where our votes have been stolen, our candidate has 51.97% and those are credible votes. Opposition leader Sumaila Sisi has branded the vote fraudulent and his party on Tuesday sought to provide the evidence. Nous rejetons les résultats attribués au président sortant dans plusieurs localités du nord. For example, in the region of Gurumararas, there was no voting in some areas, yet they are giving Keita 30,674 votes and Sumela Sisei 6,467. This is one of the areas they have traditionally robbed Sisei. These are some of the examples on which we are basing our rejection of the results. Qui est traditionnellement un fief électoral de Somaïla Sissé. African Union observers say they saw irregularities but not fraud. The EU is calling on the government to release results for individual polling stations. The UN is urging both sides to calm their supporters and to use the law to mount any challenge to the result. But Sisse already has called his supporters onto the streets and has vowed there will be more protests if he loses. Penina Karibe, CGTN, in Bamako, Mali.